Hey guys, Mr. Short Hitter, back at it again. Today is time for another update on a super speed training. This is my third video in the series. If you saw the last video, you know I was a little bit hesitant, a little bit concerned about my progress. And I'll say right now, if I don't get the club speed up to 92 miles per hour, we're definitely gonna have to add some gym work or something to get this club speed to where we wanna get. We need to get to 96 miles per hour by the time of our qualifier, the first week of May. That still won't get me to where all my competitors are hitting it, but at least it'll get me to where I can have some reasonable shots into some par fours and play a little bit better than I played last time. That qualifier was the worst round of the year for me. So check it out. Five holes to go, just play 13. Need to palm my way in, gotta hit more greens. My game's refreshed a little bit, hit some soft wedges, work my way up to full swings, hit some eight irons, and then I'll be loose enough, take a couple shots with the driver, and then I'll go get the balls that I normally test with because I've been hitting the same balls each week of this test to keep everything consistent. Let me get to it. All right there guys, even though I hit well behind that last drive, there's a fine line between warmed up and worn out. I'm gonna go get the balls from inside. Nice warm golf balls that I hit in this test every time. And we'll hit 12 of them. We'll take the best eight and we'll see if we can at least get past that 90 mile per hour barrier. Be right back. Yeah. All right there guys, so I hit my 12 shots. I'm gonna tally them up, get some stats to you, some averages, so I'll be right back. So we started super speed training at 90 miles per hour club speed, 132 ball speed. Week two, we were at 92 and 136 ball speed, and unfortunately, after week three, our club head speed went back down to 91, our ball speed went back down to 134. We only have six weeks left until this qualifier May, so, it's time to incorporate some weights for strength and speed into our program. I decided to already take the after photo so we don't have to do that later. One set 
of each of those eight exercises listed. We're gonna do one warm-up set at a 50% load, then we're gonna do another warm-up set at a 75% load of the barbell squats, the bench presses, and the dumbbell shoulder presses. The other exercises, we don't really need a warm-up set, so we won't do that. I started this routine on February 10th. We'll do it again on February 12th and also on February 14th. In addition to the strength, we'll do kettlebell swings, one set, six to 10 reps, broad jumps, one set, six jumps, weighted jumps, medicine ball throws, and medicine ball slams. That is for the speed explosiveness portion of the training. Lastly, we'll still continue to do the level one protocol of the super speed training. Hopefully the additional strength that I gain and the additional speed from those other movements that I'm doing will translate into some club head speed and to some ball speed. We really want to get to 230 carry with our driver, 96 to 97 miles per hour club head speed by that qualifier the first week of May. So guys, I'm filming this on the 10th and the entire workout plan that I laid out in front of you took me less than 50 minutes. Just finished it and it feels really good. I'll also do this workout on the 12th and the 14th. I'll take the 11th and the 13th off. And on the 15th, we'll retest and hopefully we can get at least to 92 or 93 miles an hour. I really need to get to at minimum 96 so we can get 230 carry with our driver and consistently hit drives over 250 yards for that qualifier in six weeks. I think 50 minutes is a real good amount of time to do a workout and any longer than that I think might be a little too much since I haven't really done any workouts since last winter. If you have any experience with super speed training or any workouts that you've done in addition to super speed training that have helped you, leave those down in the comment section. I'm always open to new ideas. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, Mr. Shore Hitter, out. See now, hooks and big fades, it's not my day now Why did I play now? Just clear my head, get back in this An outside shot, you still can win this